Alright guys, welcome to this little overview of the Effortless Phrasal Verb course. So, what you're seeing here is the screen that you will see once you've signed up for this course. You'll get all the content in front of you like this, all the different lectures that I've done so far and I'm adding to this every week. So, at the moment we have 14 lectures here. You'll start with obviously a little welcome message and then you can dive straight into the course, the Effortless Phrasal Verbs course. The very first lecture that you'll have is an introduction to phrasal verbs. This is about 35 minutes long and it will go through all the different kinds of phrasal verbs and it'll teach you about how they're used and why they're different, okay? So that's the first introductory lesson. I would suggest that you start with this lesson so that you can at least get a feel for how phrasal verbs are used. And then I would get onto, obviously, all the other content. You don't have to go through this systematically, as in two, three, four, five, six, etc. You can go through and do it as you like, in any order that you like. You can focus on the particles here that are most difficult. It's totally up to you. Um, so, why have I chosen to make the course like this, focusing on particles as opposed to verbs? Okay, so the main reason for this, and I'll just go into one of these lectures so that hopefully I can show you whilst I'm speaking here. So, let's open this up. All right, so, so today we're going to be <laughs> let me just stop that for a sec. So, the particle is the thing that often modifies the verbs the most. And there's actually, there tends to be an underlying pattern that you can come to understand to help you intuitively create phrasal verbs, whether or not you've even seen or heard those phrasal verbs before. So, for instance, here with around and about, it can be used here for at least four different things that are patterns that you can learn, the concepts behind the particle around and about, so in many directions or places, uh, without purpose, in a circular route from one side to another, reverse direction, and then a bunch of other miscellaneous versions. And so, I go through each particle and try to break them down into concepts like this that you can learn and understand first and foremost, and then you can go away and use these with any verbs that you want when speaking naturally and effortlessly. That's how I've decided to set up this course, so that you're not just memorizing a large list of verbs. So, that's why I think that's important. Um, as we go through these, these lectures, so you've got 14 at the moment, they're between 25 minutes and 50 minutes long, I'll go through and give you a number of different examples for every single uh, concept or pattern for each of these particles. So, for instance, here I'm using walk around something, I'm using the verb to walk. And I give you images here, you can see the video of me talking whilst I am showing you this slideshow. So, if I press play here, you'll get a little peek. City this time, it has to be the preposition around. So, say we have to go this way and then this way to get to the other side of the city. This time we say we walk around the city. So, the whole point here is that you can see me making these motions, you can see the images in front of you with diagrams. It's meant to be all outlaid so it's very visual. You can also listen and you can also see the example sentences that I'm using at the same time. So, that's why. And then obviously here you can see I've switched the verb to drive around something. So, now I'll be talking about examples related to that. So, that's the whole point. With each of these lessons, I do that. That's how they're set out. You'll get a lecture here at the top like this. It'll go for 25 to 50 minutes, depending on the particle and how many different concepts are related to that particle. You can see on the side here that away is 50 minutes long. That'll probably have a large number of different ways that away can be used. But then you'll also get ones like by here, which is only 27 minutes, obviously because there are fewer concepts that you've got to learn. Each lesson is set out where you will have the lecture at the top here, with the video of me talking in the corner, you'll get all these different slides throughout the lecture 
as I go through all these different concepts and give you the example sentences. And then below that, you have an entire transcript for the episode so that you can actually go through and read everything, uh, every single phrasal verb that comes out of my mouth in each one of these lectures, you will, you will be able to read and understand. So they're all highlighted here in bold in uh, each of these PDFs. And then at the very bottom of these PDFs, I have the definition for every single phrasal verb that is used in the transcript itself. And then below that, again, you will have places where you can write example sentences for every single one of the phrasal verbs that I've used. So that's a little exercise there for you guys. And you'll also get an extra example sentence from me for every single one of the phrasal verbs as well. So not only that, not only the lecture and the PDF, you'll also have here a an MP3 that you can download, you can put it on your phone, you can listen anywhere, anytime. And you can also download a Word document if you want to be able to edit the transcript itself. Uh, you can leave comments here, you can discuss this sort of stuff that you found interesting in this lecture with other students. You can use this on your phone as well and you can track your completion as you go through each one of these lectures and you mark them as complete at the end. And yeah, the content is here to be consumed all at once if that's what you would like or you can do it over days and weeks. I should probably go through how I suggest that you use the content. So the way in which I would suggest that you go through this content is by probably focusing on one or two lessons per week. I wouldn't get too overwhelmed with trying to learn it all at once. It's a relatively passive process, okay? It's just going to take time. You need to absorb this information and understand the patterns that underlie each one of these particles like away, back, by, down, etc. Once you understand and you have consumed this material, you have gone through the transcripts here, you have focused on the phrasal verbs and the concepts for particles that you found most difficult, you should be getting to the point where you can intuitively create your own phrasal verbs when speaking or writing. So that is that you find the verb that you want to use and then you decide on the particle you want to use and you put them together to create a phrasal verb. And this is the essence, this is the point of this course. I want to teach you to create phrasal verbs spontaneously and effortlessly like a native speaker when you're talking. I don't want you to try to remember large lists of phrasal verbs and their definitions. I want you to be able to create them on the spot. Anyway, so that's a bit of a short overview. I don't want to get too deep into it, but that's the basic idea when you sign up for the Effortless Phrasal Verb course. So you can go through it all at once if you choose, but I would say focus on one or two per week, really get deep into it, start using them, practice understanding the concepts, and once you get through the whole course, you are going to have leveled up your ability to use phrasal verbs effortlessly like a native and that is the whole point. Anyway, I really recommend getting in there and giving it a go and start smashing these phrasal verbs. Cheers for your time guys and enjoy the course. Wow.